Class created unit. All right. Uh, the reason I did this is because we're gonna um, modify this trigger. Um, just gonna take these out and delete this. <coughs> we're gonna change this to a game link behavior. And we're gonna change this variable to be our unit modification variable, which is wave modification. All right. And we're gonna rename this to modif behavior. Uh, spawn lay, we don't need to set. Unit amount, we don't need to set. However, we will need a unit number here. And instead of using temp int here, we're going to use the parameter unit number. So if that was too messy, uh, this one will add the behavior, this behavior, to this unit number in the last created wave. So here we set the variable of the last created wave and this unit number to the behavior. Adds uh, behavior to the unit specified in the last created wave. <coughs> Sorry. And there we go. Now if you go into the init waves, I could add a new action here. Add modification to unit. The reason I created this last created unit function is now I can just go here and last created unit number. This way it's very easy to copy paste this thing down because I don't have to edit the unit number to check, oh, what unit is this? Okay, this is unit number two, so I have to go in here, change the value to two since it's a colossi, it's number two in the array. Instead, I just have this last created unit and I, it will just be in order. So now you can very easily, even if you have 20, 30, 40 waves, if you add a few comments in between, like this, and you type like end of wave two. In my own map, I just took one of these comments every five levels, so end of wave five, so I c and then end of wave 10, and so on. So I could easily scroll down and find the wave I wanted quickly, and then I could easily modify these few variables in here. And hopefully you will also see that this is a lot easier to read and edit compared to having uh, three variables, setting three different uh, var arrays here, and then another array here for each wave. You could even have the modification, you could even put the modification in here directly if you wanted to. But I'm gonna do it this wave just for the sake of showing the principle. So obviously we need a behavior. So we're gonna go in and create our own behavior in the data editor. Uh, this tutorial not a, it's not about behavior, but I'm still going to create a buff just for the sake of it. Speed buff, for instance, suggest it's going to be a buff. Okay. <coughs> um, it's going to be negative since I'm taking it from the viewpoint of the player. So when the creeps have a speed buff, then it's kind of negative for the player. Um, not anything there. We're going to go to the modification. And we're going to find speed, movement, speed multiplier, and we're just going to set it to 1.5, so this units will move 50% faster. You could change the icon. I like to use the ability icons because they look quite neat. So if I drag this in so you can see it. Ability. And you just find sell it speed is good. So we're just going to find the... Um, Protoss charge is fine for a speed buff. All right, that's it. We set up our speed buff. Uh, we want might want to make a prefix so that we can easily find it again. So this is the unit spawner tutorial USP. There we go. 
So later on we can just type UST up here, and if you have 20, 30 buffs, you could find them all. We could just name it Creep or something like that to easily find your Creep buffs. Alright, so we go back into Data Editor, and we delete this Colossus thing here. We're just going to add some value, and we type UST, and what do you know? Our UST speed buff. I can easily copy this up and, for instance, add it on the Marines as well, and I don't even have to change anything. All right, and now we need to make a function to apply this um, this new modification. So I'm just going to add a new action: spawner internal apply unit modification. There we go, and do not call directly. Internal use only. Parameters, uh, unit, I'm going to take the unit in, and this is going to be a unit. And we will take in, um, I'm just actually going to take in the, hmm, yeah, we're going to take in the wave number. And we're going to take in the unit number. All right. Uh, you could do this differently, uh, but I'm going to do it. You could have done it directly in the spawner since you just have one modification per unit. But if you have more complex things, uh, like in my map, which I will show you later, where I have many different kind of modifications for each unit, I have level modifications, I have uh, one shot custom modifications to add some ran randomness to my levels and I have difficulty modifications, then I use a separate trigger because it has to apply so many different modifications and it keeps a bit more order in the system. But here we just add behavior uh, from player. Behavior, we're going to take variable, this variable, the wave number, and the unit number. And to the unit, it's going to be the parameter unit. And from player, we will just put to the creep player. This is the player that applies it to the unit. This has to do with uh, aggro and so on. If you have a unit apply it to it, the, depending on the buff, this unit might end up attacking that unit if it's from another player and so on. Um, yeah, but just don't, it's not relevant for this tutorial anyway. Alright, and then this should be fine. All we need to do now is call it up here. Apply unit modification. Unit is last created unit. Wave number is the wave number, and unit number is the unit number. And that's it. I'm going to go into the game now, and we're going to test the map one final time, and see if this modification works, and if this works fine, uh, I will go back into the editor and we'll summarize what we've done, and then finally I will show you a bit of the inside of my spawning system for my own tower defense map and how that works. So let's go into the game. Alright, here we've loaded up the game, and if we start it, you will see that the Sterlings move really fast, and they have the speed buff. So it's working. And uh, the Marines in the next wave should also have the speed buff. Let's see. Yes, the Marines have the speed buff as well. They're running really, really quickly. All right. So let's go back in the editor and review everything we've done. All right. So here we're back in the editor. Let's go for the full recap here. So we started by adding some variables here to store our information about how long it should be between the spawn of units, how many units, what type of unit, modification to the unit, and so on. Then we added this add wave, which simply increased our current wave and total number of wave variables. Then we have this add unit to wave, which will loop through the units in the last added wave and check if there is any unit in the current slot. If it's not any unit in the current slot, it 